Hey guys, my name is Alora, so welcome back here. Uh, today I'm going to be filming how I set up my bullet journal because that's something I'm super interested in right now. I really like planning. So I'm going to show you ways that I set mine up, though obviously that's different for everyone based off what's important to you and what you like to keep track of in your daily routine. This is just what works for me. Not all of this is just like a my specific way of doing it. Lots of people set it up this way. Lots of people altered theirs. But look at mine and you can see what works for you and what doesn't. So yeah, just keep watching. I really enjoy bullet journaling because it allows me to keep track of all my various uh, daily tasks and activities all in one place, whereas I find an agenda is not as versatile and you can't change it as much to your liking. So the pens I prefer to use are the Stadler Triplus pens. I really enjoy these because they're a 0.3 millimeter uh, width, so they're very thin, precise. And I use several rulers, a longer one and then just a more compact one for smaller areas. This is the Rhodia Web Notebook and I like it because it's dotted, which allows me to really calculate exactly how large or small I want an area. I've also heard these pages are thicker, so this will decrease the amount of ghosting onto the next page. So here's just an overview quickly of what my journal consists of right now. So obviously it changes from week to week based off what I like. So each box for the days is six by five dots, that's how I measure it. And then I just leave two uh, dots at the top to put the day of the week. I also have a side panel for each month with bills, goals, and notes. So here I am. I like to sketch it out first. I don't do this as often now because I'm used to it, but this is just the easiest way to make it very clean and consistent. side panels that I use is 12 dots by 12 dots and then 6 by 6 for the last two. And then I just go over it in pen with my black Tri Plus Stadler pen. And then once it's done, just to put the title for it, I honestly just do the simple two lines and then I connect it. It kind of looks like a ribbon and I think it looks really cute. It's just a simple way to spruce it up. And then I'll just go in and write my bills for the month and I will just put a bullet and I cross it off when it's complete. Personally, I just feel that's the easiest for me. It's just simple, no crazy symbols or anything. And then I'll just go back through, erase it all, erase all the pencil. And then I like to add the date. I kind of make it a little fancier. I don't put this much effort into every single page in my bullet journal, but I do like to make uh, the important calendars uh, more special. So I'll just add little flowers, little doodles up at the top. I also like to add a quote for the month. So here I just have dreams don't work unless you do. So it just kind of inspires me to, you know, work a little harder, maybe really keep track of what's going on in my life. And then I just like to cross out any tasks that I've completed, such as paying rent, other bills and utilities. And here is my weekly overview. So this also changes based off what I like, but what stays consistent is always the weeks and then, um, sorry, the days of the weeks and then the notes to remember. And I do three on each page, and then Sunday I do below on the right-hand side. And I do 21 dots by seven dots. And then I just leave a space in between and do that again for the next day. 
And then below you can see I have another little box that I use to keep track of my water intake. And then I have the same size box on the left hand side and you'll see I use that for keeping track of what I purchase. So I just add a line across the top of each of the days of the week that is uh, two dots wide and I'll just write the day of the week and then I just do again like I did before the little ribbon across for the title of the other categories. Then I just go back through and I write the actual date and put the number beside and then I'll just fill out all the titles of the categories and then here I am just filling out my uh, water tracker so I just put um, going down the days of the week and then across I have eight sections to keep track of eight uh, cups of water I'd like to drink per day. So the categories I have are to remember, um, the one I'm working on right now is to buy, so this could include groceries or any necessities I need, and then beside that I have my water tracker again, and then below that I have to sell because I tend to sell a lot of items on Depop or Carousel, so this just makes my life a lot easier keeping track of all of those. And then I'll just write what I need and then go ahead and put a little water drop beside how many bottles of water or cups of water I've drank. Okay, so here is the overview and you can flip back and see the month so you can really plan what events are going on. So this is just a quick overview of what my bullet journal looks like. And if you wanna see more, please just let me know.